Hello friends and welcome to my video for Friday the 9th of September. So I know you've been struggling through a lot of triops videos lately and I appreciate the no negative comments so far. So today is a little bit video, a little bit of a different video. Like I promised it's going to be about my tortoise and we're going to be talking about using plants in your tortoise enclosure. So what are some of the different reasons for using plants in your tortoise enclosure? Well there are a couple of different reasons. For some of you, it might be that you want to provide your tortoise with a varied diet, so you want to plant some foods foods for the tortoise, some plants that the tortoise can eat. And for others, which would be like me, you want to provide your tortoise with a varied environment. So right now, this is Patilla's cage without any of her plants in there. All she has is her food bowl, her half logs, her basking spot, and then over here, her water bowl, which is empty right now. So it looks pretty boring. And with plants, it looks completely different. And here's her enclosure with three spider plants added. Now, as you can tell, it does make a huge difference in looks. It looks much nicer now. I mean, of course, I also rearranged the pieces of decoration a little bit. But in general, the whole cage just looks a lot nicer. But really, it's not about you thinking that the cage is nicer. It is really all about what your tortoise thinks. So you want to design your enclosure, keeping in mind what your tortoise would like and what your tortoise would not mind like. So let's first talk about plants that you're planting for the purpose of providing extra food for your tortoise. For plants you that you want your tortoise to eat, you don't need to be extra careful in where you plant them in your enclosure and you don't need to really make sure that your tortoise can't get to them because the point is that you want your tortoise to access the plants. With my spider plants it's a little bit different because I didn't put them in there for Potilla to eat. I put them in there for her to just have some extra decoration to make it look more natural so I put them that she cannot access them. However, as you can see, if you look closely at the ends of the leaves, they're all bit off because Patilla does go around and nibble them. So, what do you want to do when you plant edible plants? Well, the first thing is to obviously make sure that they are not toxic for your tortoise. A great website to discover this is uh, the tortoisetable.org and I'll put a link at the bottom of this video as well as in the description. If you click on that, it'll take you straight to the website and um, the, that website has a lot of valuable information about plants. That's where I discovered that spider plants are safe for your tortoise and that's where you'll find a lot of plants that are edible and that you can plant in your enclosure. However, most of you guys watching this are probably actually interested in using plants not as food for the tortoise but actually as a decoration to make the cage nicer for you. There are again some other considerations you need to take. Of course again the plants need to be non-toxic because tortoises will get to your plants no matter how well you try to keep them away from them. That's something I learned very quickly. And you also want to make sure that the tortoise cannot run over your plants really easily. So as you saw with Potilla the plants are actually higher up and they're in the ceramic pots having raised up pots allows the tortoise to have a hard time getting to the plants. As you can see right over here the plant is fairly high up and it makes it really hard for the tortoise to just run all over it. Given the chance your tortoise will try to run over its plant and it's very easy to ruin expensive plants because you didn't secure them enough for your tortoise. So really it's pretty easy to get yourself some plants for your tortoise and it's a great way to make the environment more exciting for them. In the outs when you plant some plants in the outside enclosure, it gives them something to hide behind when the sun gets really hot, it provides them with shade and it provides them with um, some extra food to eat. In an indoor enclosure it's not so much about providing shade because where are you going? It's not so much about providing shade but rather um, about providing a more interesting environment for your tortoise. Of course you also need to keep in mind how large your enclosure is. I have a fairly large enclosure, 4 feet by 4 feet. Most of you will most likely have something smaller because you have a large outside enclosure for your tortoise over the summer. But if you have a smaller enclosure you also want to consider how much space you are taking away from your tortoise with these plants. You obviously still want to leave it some space to walk around and roam. So really I can, can't fit more than three plants in there, otherwise it gets way too cramped for Patilla and that is also something you need to keep in mind. So that is the end of this video. I hope it persuaded you to grab some plants for your tortoise. 
Um, my favorite plant that you don't need to check if it's safe for tortoises are spider plants. They're really hardy, they're easy to grow, they don't need a lot of light, they don't need a lot of water. So they're a pretty good plant to choose for your tortoise. They won't die if your tortoise just nibbles at the leaves. And um, they're pretty easy to get usually as well. So that's my recommendation for a plant for your tortoise. Of course there are many other plants out there. Just click on the link I will provide again for tortoise tortoisetable.org in the description below so that you can find out what plants are safe for your tortoise. If you have any more questions that are not answered by that website, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Also, if you have a smartphone and you have Instagram, you might want to decide to follow me on Instagram because I regularly upload photos of my pets, like Shinigami right here and Patilla and the shrimp and the triops and everything. So it's a good way to stay updated with my pets because the videos are not that frequent and the pictures are. So follow me on Instagram if you would like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like my videos, subscribe. And that's pretty much everything. So with that, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.